So, I'm Dr. Lutz Mary, Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I'm going to take the topic Amazon AWS for the subject Cloud Computing. So, yeah, AWS Amazon Web Services provides broad and deep services to support any cloud workload. So, AWS Global Infrastructure is in the baseline. So, among that, uh, you'll be having networking layer. So, you can have compute, st storage, and database. So, they are separate, and uh, above that, you can have the application services. Finally, the deployment administration is going on. So, what is AWS? AWS is a collection of remote computing services or web services that together make up a cloud computing platform offered over the internet by Amazon.com. So, website is HTTP AWS Amazon.com. So, AWS is located in nine geographical region. Each region is wholly contained within a single country and all of its data and services stay within the designated region. Each region has the multiple availability zone which are distinct data center providing AWS services. Availability zones are isolated from each other to prevent outages from spreading between zones. So, however, several services operate across availability zones S3, DynamoDB. Amazon Web Services Universe, Management Service, Cross Service, Platform Service and Infrastructure Services. Solar Integrated. Amazon.com EC2 is their virtual S3 and the Enterprise uh, Employment uh, Business Services are there. So Amazon EC2 Compute that is called as EC Elastic Compute Cloud, a web service that provides resizable compute capacity. It allows creating virtual machines on demand. Pre-configured template Amazon machine image can be used to get running immediately. Creating and sharing your own AMI is also possible via AWS Marketplace. Auto scaling allows automatically scale of the capacity up seamlessly during demand spikes to maintain performance and scales down during demand lulls to minimize cost. So, elastic load balancing automatically distributes incoming application traffic across multiple Amazon EC2 instances. It provides tools to build a failure resilient application by launching application instances in separate availability zones. So, pay only for resources actually consumed, that is, instance hours. So, VM import or export enables you to easily import virtual machine images from your existing environment to Amazon EC2 instances and export them back at any time. So, low ongoing cost. So, you will be no upfront expenses for long term commitment. Instant elasticity scaling up or down. Speed and agility. Develop and deploy application faster instead of waiting weeks or months. So, uh, apps not o OPS. So, lets your uh, shift, let you, it lets you shift resources away from data center send uh, operations and move them to innovative new products you can have uh, take your uh, apps global in minutes open and flexible so it has advantages of multiple layers the physical security is aws data center you ensure integrity the safety of data macro instances 613 mib of uh, memory up to two ec3 units platform the standard instances m1 small instances m1 medium instances so the capacity will vary right from gigabytes so now it can scale up to petabytes and terabytes so cluster compute instances provide proportionally high cp resources with increased network performance and are well suited for high performance compute application and other demanding network bound applications so it has 88 ECT compute units with along the platform. Everything is in the form of gigabytes. High memory cluster instances has 244 GB. So cluster GB quadruple GB memory. Then on-premise resources. The corporate data center is there. Cloud resources, they will be integrated. So integrating AWS with your existing on-premise infrastructure Active Directory, Network Configuration, Encryption, Backup policy. This is a, it's a cloud application, User and Access uh, Rules, IAM, Private Networks, VPC, Encryption, S3, RDS and HSM. Then uh, Backups, Storage Gateway, Your Cloud Apps. Thank you.